Hey everyone, so we are going to do a really quick tutorial on how to make a mock-up. So all we need to do is go into photos and search for a fly. This one looks good. And we are just going to make this the size of our canvas. And we will leave it like that. We can also do something, if you don't like that, we can do a wood floor. Here, let's do that instead. So we are just going to fill this up. There we go. Step one completed. Step two, we are going to go ahead and throw on a cover of a book. Awesome. Step two completed. Now for step three, we're going to grab the shape, throw it in here, put the position, move it one backwards. And first I want to center my book. Now I'm going to grab this square and make it roughly the same size as my book. I want it to come out the top and the bottom, just like that, very cool. And let's change that color. Um, okay, that's a document color. Let's make it a little bit darker. We'll just go for black. And right here in the transparency, it will move that down a little bit. And let's just... We can even make this square the exact same size as our cover. And just take this, recenter our cover. So this is the exact same size. Just sort of bump it up with my arrow keys. gonna get really snug there and see how it just starts to look like a little bit of a drop shadow so it makes your book stand out so let's take a look at that and then if we got rid of that <laughs> that is from a flow chart I'm working on so just like that that little bit of extra really adds to your shape. And then you can always go to your text, grab one of these, oops, beautiful little things. If you guys say today only, and then explain what dates it is in your um, post. It will save you from having to make a new graphic every single time you do a free book ebook giveaway. Um, so I always recommend being vague. That way you don't have to do all of this work twice over. Let's just grab our little squares here and we're going to size them down at the same time and hold shift. There we go. Cool. So that is how you can make a drop shadow in Canva. <laughs> 